Number three will be another one that is established the identity. However, it's going to specifically come from the section talking about sum and difference formulas. So I make sure you're familiar with the sum and difference formulas. Now because there's two separate trig functions, we're going to apply a separate sum and difference formula for each one. So the, I'll apply one for the first one and also for the second one. So for the first one I want to do sine of two angles being subtracted. So the, uh, the difference formula for sine we're going to apply here. So let's, let's put that in. So for this one, that's sine cosine minus cosine sine. So we're going to do sine 180 cosine x minus cosine 180 and then sine x. So that is the difference formula for the first one. I'll put a plus sign because that's this one here. I need to apply the, the sum formula for cosine. So that one is cosine cosine minus sine sine. We'll put that in for that one. So we're going to do cosine x cosine 90 degrees minus, is that formula, minus sine x sine 90 degrees and that, all that's supposed to equal zero. We have 180s and 90s here. The next thing you want to do is take a look at your unit circle and put the values in for both of those. So let me draw a little sketch here to show you that 90 degrees would be right there and, that, and the coordinates on that would be 0, 1. For 180, that's over here, this point, and those coordinates are negative 1 and 0. So these are, these are the two places I want to look at in the unit circle to get the values for each of these. For sine 180, that would be the y value at 180 degrees, which for this drawing here, it's going to be 0. So put 0, you have 0 times cosine x. Next, we got cosine 180. That's the x value at 180. That would be negative 1. So let's put in negative 1 for cosine 180. And then for the x's, I, can't, I don't know what that is, so I just leave it as sine x. Next one, I have cosine x. I'll leave that alone. And then we want to do cosine 90. That is the uh, x value at 90 degrees. That's 0. So put 0 in for that one. And then we have minus sine x, and then we have the, the y value at 90, which is what sine 90 is asking for. That would be 1. And so now we, we get this. So just a matter of simplifying everything. The 0 times anything, these are just going to go away, because 0 times anything is 0. Negative times negative is positive. I get positive sine x. This cancels, and I have another minus sine x and sine x minus sine x will be zero. So we do get both sides equal in that case. So uh, if you are establishing identity, you're putting in basically these, these kind of problems here for number three, you'll just put in the identities for the sum and difference formulas, just put those in, and then it'll require you to know a couple values from the unit circle, uh, and then everything will cancel out and you should have both sides equal.